We got Dupiter, we got Ponyta, we got Venonat. Oh! Welcome home, Rep Pack Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this channel happened to be friends with Jeffrey the Giraffe for a few years. Yeah, once the height difference started to kick in, they stopped hanging out. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Vintage Toys R Us camera flip! Happy birthday to you! Thanks, everyone. Oh, well, this is great. So, where are my presents? It's about to get a whole lot brighter up that because your boy is here and today you heard it from the title You heard it from the thumb. Well, you didn't hear it. You, you saw it, but you you know what's going on We are going to Toys R Us today guys for those of you guys that are new to this channel I actually went to Toys R Us, but I went all the way to Canada to do it And we went to a real Toys R Us location. We have Toys R Us And when I did that video so many of you guys were like, oh, you didn't have to go to Canada for Toys R Us They have a little small kiosk in Macy's. That's not the same thing. It's not the same thing but nonetheless, that is true. There are Toys R Us in Macy's now. A few years ago, they closed down all over America. So them bringing it back in a few locations at Macy's stores is actually pretty awesome. But I've never been to any of these Macy's Toys R Us's before in my life. So today, we are going to be going there to check it out, see if it's pretty cool. And not just that, the goal is to find anything we could add to the collection here. You know, the stuff, 90s, 2000s, cartoon related, anything that fits the vibe. But if we could find even one SpongeBob item that would be incredible for me and I would consider the whole trip a win and if we don't find anything at Toys R Us we could expand it to Macy's and Macy's is also in a mall so we've got some options that's a good thing about the Toys R Us being in the mall but I mean whether it's a big Toys R Us or not at least we got something back here in the US so anyway let's head into the car we're gonna head to Toys R Us we're gonna begin this hunt looking for something awesome we can add into the collection and also get that nostalgic vibe of being back in a Toys R Us all right so let's head into the car I am on my way you can follow along if you want but I don't know if you can what are you gonna do you're gonna poop you're gonna use Tinkerbell. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> No, I'm not using Tinkerbell. Cosmo and Wanda. I had to lend them to some weird kid named Chloe. But for me, today, I'm going ghost. Well, wait, you, well, you just said it, but you're still right here. I just still... Yeah, but that's not my catchphrase. My catchphrase is a little different. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Feel a whole lot lighter. Like a whole 200 pounds lighter. <laughs> Oh, come on, he just, he just phased right through that wall. Like, how am I supposed to do that? Guess I gotta get to the car like a normal person using the door. All right, so you made it. It would've been nice if I could've walked through the, <laughs> through the wall. It wouldn't have been nice. I got stuck in the wall for 33 seconds, but we made it. But anyway, guys, let's head over to Macy's and check it out. Let's see what they've got at Toys R Us. I have so many awesome memories of Toys R Us growing up. Let's head out over there. And if you guys have any memories of Toys R Us, feel free to comment them down below. Dude, look at that guy in the scooter. He's zooming. He's going. <laughs> he doesn't give a damn about the rain dude i would never ride this scooter in the rain he's living but guys we just got to the macy's right here you guys can see it's a big store it says macy's men's children home and then we have the regular macy's over here i guess what's not for your men's children or also home so we're gonna go inside of here guys one of my least favorite things about coming to the mall and why i don't do it as much is just trying to find parking but all joking aside, we found the parking. Let's head on to the Macy's and see the Toys R Us section that they have. And again, if we can't find anything, we've got a whole mall to our disposal. We're going to leave here with some sponge. Let's see if Toys R Us is up for the challenge. Okay, we have an old school classic gumball machine. I had to use Mitchell's dollar to get quartered. So <laughs> shout out to Mitchell for letting us get a dollar. This is one of my favorite things, dude. So it's going to come down. It's going to... How do you think you're going to get? I'm, I'm gonna... hoping for the green one. I'm going to say see... purple then. Are right, you guys guessed the color? I was oh, blue. blue. All right, we got the blue one. Hey, let's get one for Mitchell. Oh, you got what the heck is with the blue? Too. We got two blue balls. Go ahead and grab it. All right, so we made a little donation to Benson. Let's head out to the Toys R Us section. They said it's actually going to be over here on the left, so we got to get the kids stuff. Oh, and dude, you can see the Toys R Us sign. Barely, you see it? I barely see it, yeah. <laughs> yes, there's actually a Toys R Us sign, so let's go ahead and check this out. And Mitchell, are you, oh, I always get the sense. <laughs> okay, so we made it here, and there it is. We are in the Toys R Us section. I got to say, our old school sign's a little better. That was made out of like a foam material, but still so cool. Cool. And we sit down here, is it strong enough to hold us? We got, yes, a very, very fun, very comfortable spot with our man, Jeffrey. <laughs> How's the weather up there? People always ask me that, and I've never had an opportunity to ask somebody else. It's annoying, huh? 
But this Jeffrey is really cool. Just to kind of segue you into the Toys R Us section. Yeah, it does look a little, a little bit disheveled. But I'm not gonna lie, at the end, Toys R Us was pretty disheveled too. Yeah. So let's go ahead and check this stuff out. We're looking for anything we can add to the collection. Honestly, I just want to find some Toys R Us memorabilia because who knows how long this Toys R Us will be in the Macy's. So I want to be able to get a couple items for Toys R Us while it's here. We're gonna look around. We already got some stuff here. Like we got Sky right here from Paw Patrol. Not the Nickelodeon we're looking for, but we're gonna keep looking around and we're gonna find some awesome stuff. Yeah, this guy is really cute. He lights up. It sounds more like a bird or like a pigeon than it does a dragon, but either way, very cute. Jeffrey's toy box is like an exclusive plushie for Toys R Us. I don't see a Jeffrey plushie, so we're gonna keep looking around for that. Okay, and then over here we have some Disney stuff, but this is actually the Crypto section. And shout out to my man Crypto, whose movie leaked. Crypto and Scooby-Doo 2. It's a really awesome film. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. But also, honestly, the Crypto the Dog movie is not bad with Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. You know, like every other movie ever. Yeah, <laughs> But they down here, they have these guys too, the Disney Dorables that we've been collecting. You can see somebody already kind of got into that, so I'm going to put it down before I get accused. But they've all been open, dude. Every single one of them has been open. Every one. That's what Saying the Toys R Us is a little disheveled. That's why we gotta get some stuff while it's here. <laughs> so let's check it out over here. Oh, we could have waited in the gumball. Yeah, another gumball machine right Dang. here. Probably one that's not only handing out blue balls. What is that? Oh, this right here is cool. Genuine giraffe. Genuine giraffe. This isn't even Jeffrey. It's just a general giraffe. And like, oh, it'll sell better because it's in. I mean, Toys R Us. Just get out of here, you freaking imposter. He's pretty cute though. I feel bad for him, an imposter, but you are an imposter. A very cute imposter. Damn, I might have a couple kids that they can clean like this. <laughs> I could use the help. They can also give you some cooking, and then uh, you got this little this sparkling shine. Having a kid seem really convenient. <laughs> but we got this guy right here. Again, not Jeffrey. I'm looking for a Jeffrey plushie. If we keep finding this knockoff Jeffrey, we <laughs> keep looking around. And I don't know if you know this, but uh, you don't watch My Little Pony, but My Little Pony is back. They got a whole new brand, a whole new design for the characters. They look pretty interesting. So I just wanted to show you guys that little section real quick. We have these not brats. They're not brats, but their faces want to be brats so bad. <laughs> Lady Similar. J or Lady T. <laughs> but dude, I found this little lonesome singular adorable right here for Series 9. You don't have any of them in there. I think I'm going to grab this one Series 9 adorable just because it's by itself. Maybe this is the one that nobody weighed or checked on. We're going to grab this. And then over here, they have a really cute Snoopy as well. Oh! <gasps> There he is. Oh. There he is. This is what I came here for. Yeah, actually, Jeffrey, now. <laughs> yes, actually, Jeffrey. Make sure there's no five on his neck or anything. Yes, Toys R Us logo right here. This is the real Jeffrey. We're going to pick oh, this guy. right here, guy. too. I was just saying. No, there's a lot of giraffes in here that aren't Jeffrey. <laughs> like, we're going to grab the real Jeffrey right here. And this guy right here. So far, this is all we've got for our pickups. But I'm having a lot of fun. And just the being a part of this and being able to be here for this little Toys R Us pop-up they have. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to have this here forever. Part of me feels like it's just a temporary thing, so it's cool to enjoy it while it's here. Okay, this is terrifying. That's like not even a, a real color. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a chromed version of it. Very interesting though, nonetheless. Check oh. YouTube channel. It's probably like 50 million subscribers too. But I think this maybe should be the better one we could get because I want to try to aim for the Judy Hobbs, a couple of the cars from Cars I'd like to get, a couple of the Bugs Life ones too. So we're gonna grab this rather than the singular package. Also because Mitchell found this whole container. I just get you the Judy and the cars. <laughs> he found this whole container over here, so I made my singular special one. Not so singular and not so special. But what is it over here? We have these little Disney squishums, squish a lot. There is a Toy Story alien in there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it because there is a Toy Story alien. You got Mike and Sully, some characters I really love. I'm gonna get one just so we can see what exactly this is. Dorables too, Dorables squish a lot. So let's check it out. Okay, and then over here we found our first Nickelodeon spotting, I guess you could say, which is Baloo's Clues right here, the Blue and oh, you. But there's a whole section over here, but it's all like Nick Jr. stuff. There's Baloo's Clues over there. We got Baby Shark, a little bit of everything, but not necessarily the sponge. So let's just keep on looking around here, but we've already found a couple little fun items. Have you seen my dog blue? No, I haven't seen your dog blue. She's looking for you too. She better not be looking for me too. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I like Scooby, you know, we're always trying to figure out where he is. Blue, she's looking for you. <laughs> we got a blue microphone right here, which is cute. And we have this one too, which we actually saw at the Toys R Us in Canada too. Time for a sing-along 
one yes. with blue. So we yeah. saw this one in Canada as well, too. So all of this stuff I think we did see in Canada. So I'm going to leave most of this. I don't think we need any of this blue. I mean, they have so much stuff for kids. They are really trying to get these kids out here cleaning. They have a lot of stuff for cleaning. They're like, get those kids to work. You know? <laughs> They're trying to teach your kids some stuff. But there's actually a section that's kind of dedicated to Toys R Us stuff. So let's check this out. So right here we have a Toys R Us kid fund. This is only $10. So I mean, honestly, I think they're mostly the reason why it's so cheap is this is like a living billboard in your living room or wherever yeah. you have it. And you're like, when I save this to here, I know exactly where I'm spending it. Macy's Men's Children at Home. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of cool, a little globe. Yeah, it's a 2022 ornament, which is last year. So it's kind of older. We're going to leave this guy. You could also get framed magnet too. I mean, they're really trying to capitalize on that Toys R Us branding, you know? Yeah. I will be grabbing one of these. I just think that it has a very cool look to it and a very nostalgic one at that. And only $10. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then over here, we've got mostly Paw Patrol stuff. But some of the Paw Patrol stuff is kind of interesting. Like X-ray footier. And honestly, I like these ones just because the figure is unpainted. Like, I think unpainted, the figures look kind of awesome. Oh, like a prototype, yeah. <laughs> like a little bit. It's your prototype, I guess, before you paint it. <laughs> I'm bored to leave that. There's another one of these knockoff animals. They just keep putting these in random places. Like, oh, he's in Baby Shark. Buy him. He is not in Baby well, Shark. Well, I mean, what is Peppa doing over here? Okay, well, at least you made... Oh, this is cute. This is a cute character. Yeah, like Darwin and Gumball right there. Yeah, Darwin, Gumball, and then who would this be then? Squidward. No, but I don't know what Peppa's doing over here. She's gonna get eaten by the baby sharks. You do not want to mess with baby sharks. They're the most hungry. And can you imagine if a tooth like this landed on you? Over in one bite. <laughs> They have Harry's wand along with his Patronus. They have a bunch of different figures all the way down here. There's even one. Oh, dude, catch the golden snitch. That That's actually sick. looks like a pretty fun game. Oh, they've got a little Dumbledore down yeah. here, too. Try me. Oh, whoa. He makes magic sounds. <laughs> you hear that? Those are all of the sounds of magic and also what he uses in the restroom. So make sure if you, if you hear those noises in the bathroom, you're knocking the Dumbledore. I already know I'm a Gryffindor, so we'll see. What? <laughs> I am for sure Griffledor. Griffledor? Griffledor. Okay, a lot of you guys have said I'm actually Hufflepuff, but I took the test and it said Gryffindor, so I'm going with that. <laughs> I'm not Hufflepuff. Damn. Look at that Yahtzee. Whoa! That looks like one of those Looney Tunes, like, things of dynamite. <laughs> like, yeah. like, the little wild coyote would just leave there and just run off. Turns out he has the real one and he just blows up. <laughs> that thing's massive. <laughs> that is a big Yahtzee, dude. But let's check it out what we got back here. We have a bunch of stuff. We have the giant you know, like Uno attack box here. You know, sealed Yahtzee. It can't get more classic than the regular Yahtzee. You don't need the big one. Backgammon Monopoly. We got Mario Monopoly. We got World Traveler Monopoly. We I'm got... pretty sure that I have a Monopoly if we look at it. What looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! Uno. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these images are so close to the actual characters that they might as well just use their images, but they probably don't want to pay for the likeness. They're like, let's just draw them almost identically. But then still use Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Black Panther. That is Namor, I think. You can't find nothing in here, dude. The closest thing we've got right here is freaking, I mean, there's a bunch of cartoon characters on here. We got American Dragon Jake Long. <gasps> we got freaking Tucker from Danny Phantom. We got Susie Carmichael right here. We got Lincoln Loud right here. You know, we got the whole crew on here. We're still looking around for some Nick stuff, guys. But like I said, I'm just having fun here. We were finding some cool stuff nonetheless. And I'm just glad we got my Jeffrey. Bro, he thought he was Chadwick Boseman when he took this picture. He was like, you can't tell me I'm not. He looks fresh as heck, though. I love these. This is so cool. We have the Black Panther retractable claws. Hey, and then a random Lego minifigure of a carrot. If that doesn't sum this trip up, I don't know what else does. <laughs> yeah, just like the most random product. <laughs> All right. But from, from here up, I thought this was Mr. Mime. Oh, yeah? And then I pulled it out in his mini. Does that look like Mr. Mime somehow? It does. And I found the, where the carrot came from. Oh, dude. Yeah, he just tried to rob him. And then there. Yeah, like, there's another one. Series 24. Damn, they've been doing this for a minute. Okay, but then over here we have the Pokemon section. You know there's some Pokemon stuff in the collection. So maybe we can find oh, something. Oh, almost. Pecco. We got more Pecco. We got Snubble and then Machop, who's just doing the weirdest flex I've ever seen. <laughs> Looks like he's practicing for a hug. <laughs> Whoa, there's your Pokemon cards. Oh, dude, nice catch. Dude, I feel like we gotta get that just because it's the only one here. I haven't opened up Pokemon cards in a while. Let's see, there's four packs in there. $20 for it. It's kind of hidden. I'm gonna grab it. So we've actually kind of a, no sponge today, but we got kind of got a little bit of a lot. But then check out over here, man. I saw this, this whole little section. I'm hoping we can maybe find something cool in here. There's a lot of these baskets. I saw this I little, little blue. Yeah, this little standalone blues from Blue's Clues here. But I don't know if we see anything else in these little bins. Okay, guys, so we went through everything. Like I kind of said, I. I 
kind of knew that the ones in the U.S. weren't going to be anything compared to the big store that we went to in Canada. But either way, it's the closest thing, like I said, we got to Toys R Us. And, you know, if they ever do close these things up, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for one of those signs. But until then, we got the Jeffrey right here. We're going to be getting the coin bank. I am going to grab this little squishy one just because I'm curious what this product actually is and if it's worth the value. And then we got the Dorables and also some Pokemon cards to open up. So we got a lot of variety to add to the different sections of the room. But we still haven't found any sponge. We're going to go to the Greater Macy's. Oh, you guys, this guy over here staring at me. These mirrors are messing me up, man. But if we don't find anything in Macy's, we'll just go somewhere else and pick up something small, even if it's something. Just have a little bit of a SpongeBob itch right now yeah. to pick up something. But let's see if we can find some clothing or something like that in the rest of Macy's. Okay, so we're gonna go look for something sponge in the mall that did not have anything else in the Greater Macy's. There is this awesome store right here, nothing sponge in there. And we just come check out the window here. They have like the little machine, the they have the My Melody piggy bank back here. There's a lot of really cute stuff in here. Maybe another video we have to do another day. But let's go ahead and check out, see what we can find sponge. We're gonna look for a Hot Topic box lunch. We know they're gonna have something. Yes, you it feels so good. That, that little handful. <laughs> yeah, it feels so good. It feels like it's going through my blood. <laughs> the sponge. <laughs> we found one sponge item to add today, and this one is so cute. It's a little porthole of SpongeBob playing in jellyfish fields. I think you can open it up too, which is even cooler. So we'll definitely be adding this to the pin board. And we found a SpongeBob product for today, along with our Toys R Us hunt. Let's go ahead and head back to the car, and then back to the cartoon cavern. So we are back from Toys R Us, even though it feels like I just went and bought some high heels based off the bag. But nonetheless, it was Toys R Us. Side the Macy's, which was so fun. So weird. And I mean, I gotta say, I did enjoy the Macy's Toys R Us. No, it's not the one in Canada, but it was still pretty awesome. And it's better than nothing, ain't it? So let's go ahead and check out everything we found there. Of course, we're gonna add some of this stuff to the collection. We have a lot of mystery stuff to get into. Disney, Pokemon, and we even found a little sponge. Let's check it out. So going into there, my main goal was to get something Toys R Us. Like I said, I'm kind of of a fan of Toys R Us. It's a big part of the channel. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Real, real big fan. <laughs> Our sign is cooler. Than oh the one yeah, they had in way there. more. But going in, I was looking for a Toys R Us item, and boom, we found Jeffrey. This is not the Jeffrey I grew up. The Jeffrey I grew up was a little bit more round around the edges, and that is this one right here. I love how back in the '90s, dude, that like he could have easily been friends with the also current at that time Chuck E. Cheese mascot, and you wouldn't have second guessed it. They look like they could be like best friends. Like they live in the same street, at least go to the same school district. There's some similarities there for sure, but that was just the style then. But I have to say the new Jeffrey is pretty cute too. But the funny thing is when Toys R Us closed, these plushies were available in Toys R Us at that time and people were selling these dude for like 60 to $100. Dang. <laughs> Just because it was like, oh yeah, it's closing. <laughs> Psych. Psych, they're gonna be at Macy's back for $15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was not the only thing we found in Toys R Us. It was also the Toys R Us or hashtag Toys R Us Kid Fun Bank. Right here, this thing, I used to have one of these growing up. I don't think it was actually themed after the, I think it was just blue. Like it was just blue when you oh, can see okay. the coins come through. But this one is way cooler because you get that classic Toys R Us oh, branding. Dude, we did not see these stars. You know what? I didn't even realize the stars in his body. These are the stars that you can see on the sign back here too. The stars were all over. They were painted all over Toys R Us. Do you remember that back in the day? Yeah, that yeah, makes kinda, a lot of sense now. I kind of forgot that was a part of their whole aesthetic. So that's why he's got the stars there. And I got instant flashbacks yeah. of that aesthetic. I feel like this is the wall of the ones back in the 90s. It is beautiful, really high quality. And there's two places you can put the coin and you can either have it like this. Were they all like that? Or did they just use the two of the same size maybe on mine? Maybe it's a misprint, yeah. I don't maybe know. it's a misprint. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. Maybe this was for bills. Bills, they're like the same exact size. What do you I mean? I don't know what this is, but besides that, you can put coins in the side, you can put coins in the top. And if you get enough coins from the top, they, they might start falling out the side, yeah. but you gotta make, just take that up, okay? The point is, this is sick. If this was like 2005, this whole bank would be how much it would cost for like one toy there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like if you fill this whole thing up, you better be using quarters because to buy something at Toys R Us back in the day, I am talking like plushies were like $49.99. <laughs> Toys R Us definitely had some high prices, so it's kind of hard to imagine that this could be enough money for anybody to be a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> but we do have some coins and we're gonna try and check this out so you can see that little transparent drop through just in case you didn't know how it worked. But mostly I just wanna see the money fall behind Jeffrey here. And he's like, yes, feed me, feed me this sweet coin I need. Say 
and local Macy's men's children and home departments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so down here, we got Mr. Krabs guarding these little arcade money banks. So whenever somebody comes in here and plays arcade games, which is mostly Mitchell when I convince him to drop money in there, which is really not that often because I keep it unplugged because this machine is made to attract people. So it stays on. I don't want the engine to burn out. But the coins are right here. So we have a little bag of coins. So let's go ahead and check these out inside of the piggy bank. Inside of the giraffe bank. That sounds a lot weirder. Can you imagine a giraffe bank? How long it take to go down the neck? Like, That's why I'm saying, you know, you can't just, just jam the esophagus of a giraffe like that. Let's just get inside of the, the, the fun bank. Pigs are made for holding money. <laughs> why pig? I don't know, because they're pigs. <laughs> See, so now, this is all my money. Dude, look at how old this Booty Brown's penny is. It's older than you. I feel like most money is at this point. <laughs> <laughs> 1952. It's yeah. like 70 years old. Damn, it is 70. I mean, this is a 70 year old penny we're gonna drop in here. Yes, I may be an old penny, but I'm worth just as much as a modern penny, I promise you. Just give me a try. There he is, you're going to the bank. <laughs> so this is pretty much how it works. And I mean, it's kind of fun when you're a kid, you can kind of see all your cash adding up slowly but surely. You know, giving you an idea of how much you exactly got in there without having to break the bank like you did back in the day when I was a kid with some of mine that were definitely not off-branded SpongeBob ones from Mexico. But there we go, there's all my Toys R Us fund in there. <laughs> hey, and this might actually be enough to get something at the new Toys R Us, because I can say the prices were a little bit more fair at the Macy's Toys R Us. But if you don't want to break it open, you got a little coin bank piece down here on the bottom or the side whatever you want to see and you can just pour all your coins out under the circumstance that you don't put a coin in there that is bigger than that hole because I didn't think of that being a possibility. <laughs> we got lucky. But that is an awesome little combo there and I can't wait to add. I think I'm gonna add Jeffrey to our sign back there just for a little fun. And this guy we're gonna put inside just as a little reference and not a Toys R Us. Okay, so then let's get into the mystery stuff we found. Found this guy right here. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Dorables, but I don't know even know what that is. So we did get some regular Dorables too. And we got some Pokemon. So we have a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna save the sponge item for last so we can add it to the pin board But this was $12 so better be worth it That's our whole question is I think durables are definitely worth it You get like five to seven figures and they're usually five but possibly six to seven And it's only like $15 for this whole box This was $12 for just this little Rapunzel's tower box or Oh there is four, five, or six. Oh, nice I hope we get five or six before I guess we'll have to deal with that So let's go ahead and peel this off Never heard of these though, squish a lot I know, I've never seen them either so that's why I want to see and just kind of find out is it worth it? So we're gonna decide is this worth it for $12.99? Oh man, these guys do not know how to party. We're just trying to raise the roof Comes this little french fry fryer and it's got all of them in there. So we got one three four and not five or six <laughs> As usual, but I don't understand what exactly they are. I guess let's go ahead and pop them open So we get four of these little guys for $12.99. So let's see what we have in our first one here. Okay, who do we have? Ooh, that is a very cute Nemo. He's so I see what it is. It's kind of just like a squid. Ooh, a little broke my damn finger <laughs> But it's a little squishy Nemo. He does have a small fin as well comparatively to the other ones. So that's really cool I mean, he's got the small fin still, and, and he's also lost his stripes. So, I mean, slowly he is de-evolving from a clownfish, but he, he's still very, very cute. Kind of looks like Darwin here. I was about to say, he looks like Darwin <laughs> when he didn't have his legs yet. <laughs> All right, next one up here. Ooh, we got Mr. White Sneakers. Ooh, is that Oh, fun? okay, I'll take that one. I didn't even expect to get something sick like that for the Toy Story collection. That one is super cute. And also when he pages somebody like Buster, it'll just be like this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one up. Oh, we got Mike right here too. So they're like these squishy versions of your normal Dorables. I don't necessarily know if I like them better though, because to me, these are smaller than Dorables. I gotta say, I like that they're firm enough to where you can wash them really easily. Yeah. What I don't like about certain products that are these squishy materials, like for example, the Smashems, is these things, and also I think these too, with this type of sticky material, you see how much dust builds up on the oh, stickiness, yeah. and you can not just dust this off as I do with many products here in the background. It gets stuck to the actual product, which is, again, for a guy who doesn't like sticky and gritty that much, these are not my thing. That's why there's only one of them here in the background. So I'm gonna say so far, I feel like these aren't worth it. I think I'd rather just stick with the normal Dorables. Yeah. But let's just see if we get something in this last one that just blows my mind or touches my butt. You touched the butt. 
Okay, so let's see. Last one, the rarest one we could possibly get. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got Who could this be? Do you know who it is? Actually, Echo. I don't know the Disney character. Right? <laughs> no, it is not Amazon Echo. This is Alexa. No, this is Eve. Oh, that's what it, <laughs> it was an E, all right? I was close. <laughs> but I gotta say, as a set, $12 for these four little, like, I don't even think that they're, like, they're smaller than the Dorables. Even if they made them the same size as the Dorables, I can maybe say, like, yeah, I just, a guy wants to do a little bit more than squish it sometimes. What else is there to do? I don't know where there's a freight truck coming through knocking over antique style fantasy buildings. Oh, oh no, he's taking down the whole crew. Oh my god, is that the Ninja Turtles bus coming to the <laughs> double down on this clown? <laughs> That's what you can do with it. All right, I, I see your point now. Yeah, there you go. I guess you could do a couple of things with these squishy ones, but I think I like the other ones a little better, so let's pop into these ones. <laughs> <laughs> We got four or five. I thought if I surprised it, we might get a six. Dude, we have the minimal for each one. Come on, let's see it. Oh! oh, oh. That's mini. Oh, mini, okay. Well, let's see, is that one rare? I think it is. Oh, no, it's not. That's super common. We got excited for another. <laughs> that is a uh, mini mouse. 20s. So this is the 1920s Minnie Mouse. I don't even care if it's a rare or not. That one is super cute. So let's just see the next one we got here. Mini Mouseketeer Mouse. Oh wait, what is this? Is that a soul character? This is a soul character. I'm not 100% sure. This one is 22. I'm gonna make you wish you never died. Most people wish that 22. We got Minnie from the 20s and then we got 22. It's a rare one though. Yeah, he is a rare. So we're moving up a little bit. Not the characters I'm looking for exactly, but either way, we don't have those ones. And I'm so glad about them releasing a new series because we don't have any of these. Whereas the last series, we were running by a lot of ones we already had. Oh, this is a big one, dude. It's, I can tell it's a big one. Let's save that one for next. Not for last, just after this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, Ooh, he is adorable. And our man Mitchell here is a big fan of Winnie the Pooh too. So how do you rate this guy? I gotta give him a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's got like a little pilot hat. I know, man, cause he be flying into that honey. When has he ever been flying, Mitchell? Never. <laughs> <laughs> but he is a common too. You know what, Mitchell? I'm gonna actually have to give you this guy. Cause okay. I'm sure on our journeys, we're probably gonna run into another Winnie the Pooh. So we're gonna give this to our man Mitchell. Cause he is a fan. Of Winnie the Pooh. All right, so our next one is this big one. Let's check it out. Oh, Dang. she's had a lot of hair. I think her name is Julia, I think. So we have her right here. She is from the movie Luca, and she has a very, very intense, but also protective father. I love you too, Papa. When a mustache gets that thick, it just says, don't mess with me. I'm like a walrus. I'll just bite through you. But our last one here, let's see it. it doesn't feel smaller. Ooh, Ooh, that is adorable. That's my favorite one here. That's a cricket from Mulan? Yes, Mulan is probably my favorite Disney princess. So this is, I think it's Cricky is his actual name, but he is adorable. I love it. There is actually a lot of ones. They have a little brother. They have Flick and Dot. I love seeing the animal adorables. They even have a Nick and a Flash from Zootopia. And I also got to say, I think the one of Lumpy right here is actually pretty cute too. I always loved him and I remember the movie around him. What movie was that from? I forgot. Isn't that the first Winnie the Pooh movie or one of the Winnie the Pooh movies that went to the theaters was like all about him and his mom, right? But that was still an awesome unboxing. I mean, it wasn't necessarily the six or seven, but hey, we still got some awesome ones. And honestly, Cricket makes it worth it for me. Okay, and then we have our SpongeBob pin, but let's go ahead and check that one out in a second because we did get some Pokemon cards there. And if you guys don't know, I love Pokemon. I don't always get a chance to open up cards. So I'm actually kind of pretty excited. And we also got Quaxi, which I haven't had a chance to play Scarlet and Violet yet. I'm still working on Legend of Arceus. So I don't know who I'm going to pick yet. I, I think I'm going to pick Spregatito. Spregatito, that sounds like something you put on a taco. Let me I guess with Sprigatito on this. Like, <laughs> that, I can't say his name very well, but he is very, very adorable. But honestly, because we're in the cartoon camera, we have a spongy vibe. We're kind of glad we got the water box. Let's check it out. Fun fact, this is the first set of cards they added in the American version with the silver border. Ooh, yeah. Actually, I remember you're right. The Japanese cards usually have this silver border, but now we've got them over here, and yeah, I'm kind of glad we do. Yeah, that looks, looks so sick. nice. Yeah. <laughs> it makes every card seem so much more premium. Oh, and then we got the awesome 
Karyodon EX. Because EX, that was back in the 2000s. This is, is a nostalgic channel. Back in the 2000s, there was EX cards. There were lowercase EXs. Then they brought them to bigger case EXs. And then now they're back to lowercase EXs, but still shiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got our very adorable pin right here. His name is Quaxley, but honestly, like, I like his name being Duckerson Wilson. I'm going to name mine. If I get him, I'm going to name him Duckerson Wilson. <laughs> we got Silver Tempest, and we've also got Brilliant Stars. So, let's get into it. All right, we're going to run it through these guys. We want to see if we can get something sick here. So, let's check it out. We've got Makuhita. We've got Weasel, Gibble, Trap Pinch, Cast for Mr. Boob Knees, and then we've got Corfish. What is our rare? Oh, so this is why I don't open Pokemon cards. Golurk. We, <laughs> we got Golurk. I don't open Pokemon cards. I never get pools now. I have the worst luck when it comes to Pokemon cards, exclusively Pokemon cards, it seems like now, when it comes to opening them. So I am going to try my best here to get us something cool. But either way, I love opening cards. Feeling you can't beat the intensity of not knowing what you're going to get is always so fun, even if you don't even get much. We got Sneasel. Look at them. These fingers are tasty, but you can't have any. <laughs> you can't have any of my fingers. You want some of those fingers? I do not want some of those fingers. Don't lie. <laughs> we have Clink. We got Spirit Tomb. Damn, they've reduced you to a common card. Yeah. <laughs> we got Axu. We got Impidimp. Come on, baby. Star, Star you, me. Mr. Patrick Star. And we got Haxorus. Come on, man. You got a Haxorus to get anything good. <laughs> Our, oh, we got nothing in here. What do you mean? Yeah, we got nothing, maybe, but maybe something. We got Chinchow. We got Metatite. Yeah, I see you peeking. We got Dupider. We got Ponyta. We got Venonat. Oh, okay. We got the Brexin Trainer Gallery card. You guys know I have a binder actually dedicated to Trainer and like Pokemon interactions. So that's actually a really cool one. And then behind that, oh, we've got actually got the Delafox. That's kind of a perfect little fit there. We have the teenage version and then the fully adult. You're a wizard, Larry Delafox. <laughs> and then a black card that makes you think you got something good. I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then a little punny ready to beat you down with a double kick and a smash kick. All right, Lugia, come on. <laughs> Okay, if you don't have anything in it, I'm gonna beat you up. Sunkern, Clink, Sunkern's cousin, Petalily, Litten. We're freaked out. We got Murkrow. Oh, Artie Cooney. And the uh. big Grand Premier Ultra Mega EXL Unknown. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what you are. I feel like, is this a Q unknown? I don't know what. I feel like they missed an opportunity of not putting a V unknown on the unknown V. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have just made a lot more sense. <laughs> Either way, you know who doesn't let me down the sponge. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check out the last product we have here and we're gonna add it to the pin board. Okay, and for one of my favorite items that we found today and that is the SpongeBob pin. So checking this out, this guy was $9.99 and I got it for free because the last time we went to Hot Topic, we did pick up a good amount of stuff. So we ended up with a $10 coupon. So they used a $10 coupon and I had nothing else to pay for it. I was like, it's free? You're, you're sure? I don't have to pay anything extra? And she was like, yeah, that's good. I was like, this feels criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Felt suspicious, but we got it. So if you see, it is so, so cute. I don't know whose window this is because it's a window to Jellyfish Fields. Maybe there's some like creepy house in Jellyfish Fields to stock on SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose window this is, but nonetheless, it is a view to Jellyfish Fields and you can open the porthole to see a better look on the image too. And you know how much we love the, the whole embodiment of jellyfishing. It's about frolicking, having fun, doing what you love and not caring what anybody else has to say about it. You notice there's not a lot of people that be jellyfish fishing besides SpongeBob and Patrick. And then Squidward on that one occasion. <laughs> And then a Kevin and the other guys that apparently jellyfish, but we never see them besides the one episode. Am I in the jelly spotters now? It's really just SpongeBob and Patrick, and they don't care how other people see it or whether they think it's dumb or whether they think it's cool or whatever. They enjoy it, and that's why they love doing it together. So that is an awesome piece to have here in the Cartoon Caverns, is that's what it embodies, is being yourself, accepting yourself, and accepting other people for the things that they love and the people that they are. And without getting too deep, let's go ahead and throw this onto the pin. And thank you so much for being the awesome person that you are. All right, we're doing it random here. Oh, that was conveniently in a very blank space. <laughs> But now we can open up the little jellyfish portal right here on our Nickelodeon pin board that is continuing to grow. And there will be a new episode of this series very, very soon. But we've been adding them here and there through the normal episodes as well. But now that we have everything set up, we didn't find too much there, but I had an amazing time nonetheless, and especially doing it with you. So thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Stick around. We're going to add a couple things here to the collection. But before that, you know the drill. Scan it. <laughs> 
Okay, so it took us a little bit of work to get up there, but we got Jeffrey up here on the Toys R Us sign. I think that looks awesome. I definitely think my next plan is I'm going to try to find a vintage Jeffrey plushie so I can put it on that side. So that way we have the old Jeffrey and the new Jeffrey. Try to find something around the same size. I think that'll kind of be just a perfect little piece to end our Toys R Us sign where it's at. Okay, and this is not Buzz Lightyear. It looks Buzz Lightyear themed. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's something for Buzz Lightyear's just melatonin. But besides that, we have Buzz light year right here very very cute and we are at the toy story collection which i will again as always repeat is under twenty dollars everything you're seeing here so let's go ahead and add this on here and our collection continues to grow on the cheap here it is the toy story collection with a new addition the adorables i honestly just think that they're so cute that i just love looking at them like i just love picking them up checking them out and just seeing the little representation of the character so soon what i'm either going to do is get a display cabinet with some of the adorables or I'm gonna just put some of my lesser favorite characters like on the side in a protective container and just display some of my favorite adorables because as you guys can see the collection is very much so growing there is a lot of them and that's not even that much like those adorables they just add up so quickly like you just get a couple here a couple there and then you get one of those advent calendars 24 all of a sudden you got hundreds <laughs> they multiply like mice <laughs> if you're addicted to adorables you know but this is where it's at currently always growing and I gotta be honest it's one of my favorite Disney products out right now all right guys Guys, that is actually for this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I had an amazing time at the Macy's Toys R Us. If you guys have any places you want us to go in particular to do a hunt, let us know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely try to make sure that happens. But if you guys enjoyed this video, again, smack the like button and check out this video on your screen right here, which is another video on this channel. I know you're going to love it. I'll see you over there, actually. And if you haven't already, make sure you go follow on Whatnot, where I'm doing giveaways every single week, absolutely free, shipped to your door. If you've already been missing out on it, make sure you guys go sign up you get $15 off your first purchase and if you're trying to sell off some of the stuff in your collection you can also do that on whatnot as well so both those links will be in the description check it out but as always rep pack i will see you beautiful people in the next one adios Bloop.